saying, do you really want your goals and your dreams? Well, come through me then. Our work ethic makes sure those checks that our mouth wrote is cash and it doesn't bounce. They just keep working, man. They just keep working. I've mentioned this many, many times last year that the seeds of the next wave of multi, multi, multi millionaires are being planted throughout this pandemic. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them chinches, now I'm making seven figures like. So you and I are living in some very, very interesting interesting times with all the chaos that's going on in the world here's a sad reality that life likes to remind us with sadly life moves on sadly life must require us to perform on a daily basis i know it's annoying i know you want to hear this i know you don't want to say hey, matt is there anything else you got to say besides i gotta work on my next i gotta work on my next plan in spite of what's going on with coronavirus afghanistan all the different distractions we got going on today. But sadly, the reality is this, as you and I living in this great country, have to deal with what's next. And when it relates to your family, I wish you can just say to your bills, the, the food that you gotta put on the table. I wish you could just say, listen, I'm going through an issue right now. Time out, time out bills, time out food, time out landlord. I just wanna take a quick time out. But the sad reality is what? Life doesn't work that way. And just to be clear, what I'm not saying is not take time out to grieve, to not take time out to mourn. You should do that. You should process it. At the same time too, the flip side is when things are going great in your life, does it take you a whole week, a whole month to celebrate? Or do you uh, get back right in the grind the next morning and watch the game tape and improve? However, you can improve your business, you can improve your career, your job, the projects that you have in front of you. And the current reality is that our country, our economy is operating on two great things. Let me explain. One is a great resignation and number two is a great reshuffle. So let's talk about the great reshuffle. What is the great reshuffle? Well, according to the most recent U.S. Department of Labor job opportunities and labor turnover summary report, whew, the federal government reported a record-breaking 9.2 million open positions, theoretically approaching enough jobs to provide employment for the over 9.5 million Americans who are looking for work. So why aren't people going back to work? Couple of reasons why. Number one, not enough job flexibility. And number two, not enough money. So people are taking these jobs, and they don't have flexibility and they're in a glut and they're reshuffling themselves and asking themselves, what do I really want to do? The most important financial problem that people are facing is that credit card and education debt is their most serious financial hurdle. And the second one is healthcare concerns. And another thing that's going on is called the great resignation, where 55% of Americans anticipate looking for a new job. That the great resignation is evidence that employees may be shifting from a live to work to a work to live mindset. So it's not easy to declare that your priorities are taking care of your mental health or spending more time with your family. When we live in a capitalist system that values work, above all else. Now, with that being said, so what's the solution to all this? Number one, obviously we all have to recreate ourselves. We've always said for a very, very long time, if you're not growing, you're dying. And if you're stagnant, you're still dying. So the country, our situation, our environment, our economies, what's going on in the daily practices of raising your family, your children, it's gonna force you to change, it's gonna force you to adapt. However you thought about things are changing and the way you go about making sure that you recreate yourself for the better is make sure you're grounded in two major things, which is values and principles. Have you realized, have you realized as a family, as a father, as a, as a mother, as a son, daughter, what you stand for? Have you figured out and jot it down in a piece of paper or put it down on a poster, what you stand for? Have you? Because if you don't stand for anything, you fall for anything. And we took time out uh, last uh, last year, okay? It was uh, last uh, October. Our CEO mentor, Patrick Ben David, flew us to Jekyll Island in Georgia. And uh, for two and a half days, we're sitting there putting down on paper what the values and principles of our company was, because we know the only thing constant is change. And what will help us continue to recreate ourselves for the better is making sure that throughout the test of time, in situations and distractions, it is based on two things, 
values and principles. And the top of the list, I'll just share with you one of them. The top of the list is that we come through with our word. That when our mouth writes checks about what we're about to do, what we're about to accomplish, our assets, our work ethic makes sure those checks that our mouth wrote is cash and it doesn't bounce. So the question you got to ask yourself is this. Distractions are going to come your way. Health challenges, job challenges, family challenges, personal development challenges, spiritual challenges, relationship challenges. Many, many, many challenges will not only currently attack you, but constantly come across and knock on your doorstep saying, do you really want your goals and your dreams? Well, come through me then. Come through me then. And that's what you got to ask yourself is, what are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? Did you turn off that dream machine already? Did you settle for saying, okay, I just got a government check. Oh, I just got a $15 an hour job, $25 an hour job, $35 an hour job. And you know the goals and the dreams and aspirations you want are way up here. That, that type of income will not provide you to find your elevation to even touch those dreams. So my friends, if that's your situation, your disposition should be, I need to recreate myself. And the first way you recreate yourself, the first way you go about recreating yourself in the future is making sure it's bound on two major things, values and principles. And some of the best people I've been around, my 22 years of being an entrepreneur, are the people that are able to recreate themselves in the 80s, in the 90s. They have their hit right, their hit business, their hit record label, their hit song, their hit uh, uh, sale uh, a goal that they hit in the 80s and the 90s. Well, guess what they do in 2000? They recreate themselves to continue to be relevant. They just keep working, man. They just keep working. They just keep working. Anticipate the next change, anticipate the next trend, ground themselves on values and principles, and still able to recreate themselves with success, fulfillment, joy, happiness, because they're bound on two things, values and principles. So as I wrap up, I want you to consider, what is it that you stand for? How clear are you about your dreams? How clear are you about the things that you want to accomplish for your family, for the people that you love and care about? Why are you doing what you're doing to begin with? Why? Ask yourself why. And then ask yourself the second question, do you understand the price that you need to pay to make those dreams come true? Do you understand the price that you need to fulfill and come through with in order for those dreams and aspirations to become a reality? And number three, are you willing to work day in, day out, according to those dreams and aspirations. Because here's the thing, what's going on right now in terms of the great resignation and the great reshuffling, that's not a new thing. I mean, they're just documenting and putting in the headline. It's, but think about this, many people, when they get older, after life hits them in the mouth a couple of times, life has been putting them against the ropes and throw them a couple low blows and a couple low blows that would just knock people out for the long term. But here's the reality. If you want to make sure that the people that you love and care about, you want to make sure you get to the next level in your financial life. If you want to become a first generation cash flow, faith based millionaire, guess what you got to do? You got to get back up and fight again. And how you fight again is based on what you stand for, your values, your principles, your dreams, your goals, the demand and price of those uh, dreams and goals, the price that you're willing to pay to make those dreams come true, the work ethic necessary to make those dreams come true. Because what's very, very apparent today, which I think is a symptom which was created by the coronavirus and the pandemic, forget, obviously, f remove the healthcare, remove code for situation, the symptoms of that. The major symptom it would cause people to do, it caused them to take a step back and have a little bit of laziness enter the life. And a little bit of laziness enter the life, they become big lazy. And what people don't have today, a lot of my, based on my observation from doing events from coast to coast is two things. It's work ethic. It's work ethic. Now, for those of you who said, man, I'm not thinking about the great resignation. I'm not thinking about the great reshuffle. Chris. Well, guess what? Time for you to double down because this is an opportunity for you to now double and triple and quadruple and 10 X, a hundred X, a thousand X your competitors. And by the time they pick up and figure out what they stand for, and figure out what their goals and their dreams are, and figure out the price that needed to be paid, and them meeting the demand of the price that they're willing to pay to meet their goals and their dreams, you are way ahead. And that's the beauty of entrepreneurship. That's the beauty about the right type of capitalism. That's the benefit of the right type of meritocracy, that when you go out and do something, you accomplish it because you did it, you put your name on it, you put your effort behind it, you get the glory, you get the recognition, you get the paycheck, you get the spoils of your labor, because that's what you did with time, with your talents, 
in your resources, you made the most of it when everybody's in a period of indecision. The quicker you make up your mind about what you stand for, what your values, your principles are, and what type of dreams and lifestyle that you want to live in spite of these very moments. I mentioned this many, many times last year that the seeds of the next wave of multi, multi, multi millionaires are being planted throughout this pandemic. So if you're watching this and you're in a position of recreating yourself, put in the comment section below if you affirm your recreation. Put in the comment section below. I am recreating myself based on values and principles. I'm recreating myself based on values and principles. And my friends, my prayer to you is this, that the values and the principles of which you establish your life on will be able to stand a test of time. And based on that, I wish you well, more freaking power to you. And looking forward to seeing you rise up and demolish a lot of those setbacks and distractions and failures that will come your way and the taste and the flavor of victory based on the price that you're able to pay. My friends, I tell you, it is so sweet. That being said, guys, my friends, if you haven't done so already, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, from Dallas, Texas, God bless America, God bless our troops, and God bless everybody out there interceding for the good. With that being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue to smart, continue to smart, and be money smart today. Thank <laughs> you.